okay, the moment has come. You've watched all the YouTube videos, you've Googled everything about what camera you should buy, and you've thoroughly exhausted Peter McKinnon's YouTube channel. If so, why the hell are you here? Anyways, I have some helpful info on what to look for when buying your first camera and some starter gear. First things first, DSLRs are way cheaper than mirrorless cameras, so if you're just starting out, I'd recommend a DSLR. Secondly, it is absolutely important, please listen to me on this one, for the camera to shoot raw. To find out if it does, just Google it. Now for some additional features. Anything 20 megapixels and up is great. I would also recommend something that has a wide variety of lenses and is not just a special selection of lenses specifically for that model of camera. Brand doesn't really matter for beginners, but I personally am a Canon shooter. I love the colors that their cameras produce and their menu system is super easy to learn. Plus they have a huge variety of lenses. Sony is also phenomenal and the photos taken on Sony cameras look great. Nikon is a bit shit. Their beginner cameras are really hit or miss. As far as starting lenses go, the kit lens or the lens that comes with your camera, if it does come with one, should be okay for now. I took some of my favorite photos that I've ever taken with the kit lens that I got from my very first camera. But if you're looking for a good beginner portrait lens, you can't go wrong with a cheap 50 millimeter. It is very versatile and most brands have them for under $200 or cheaper if you check eBay. Most of the camera kits on Amazon also come with a bunch of extra stuff. Some of this is super nice, uh, especially getting a bag for your camera, that is definitely a must. Finally, the SD card. They are pretty cheap on Amazon and I'd recommend the SanDisk 64GB Extreme Pro because it's super fast and it's only $19. If you're having trouble deciding between cameras, check out cameradecision.com. This site will list out all the features of the cameras you're looking at. I hope this helped and feel free to send me any questions you have about buying gear. I'll try to answer as many as possible. See you later.